That's our number one seller right there. Cream, sugar, butter, and pecans dipped out by hand. We sell more pralines than anybody in the country, and they were the one that got us really in the candy business. And a warm, fresh praline is fantastic. Free praline samples. Upcoming is going to be our 50th year anniversary next year. And so we actually started here as a Christmas shop and a gift store. And it was out on River Street before there were many people down here. And it was my mother, my grandmother, and my dad. And actually business was so slow that um, my grandmother stayed here to try to keep things running. And then we, went, we moved off, came back. And when we did, I was in the eighth grade, my brother was in the sixth grade. And we went to the Atlanta gift market and we were looking for some peppermints uh, and some different ornaments and things for our store here. It was called the Cotton Bale. And uh, my brother, who was in the sixth grade, snuck off and found a fudge pot and they delivered it here. And I made some of the fudge. I made way too much chocolate mint fudge, but that was the first candy. And then uh, my parents started experimenting with pralines at home. And I was born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And so my family was really familiar with pralines and they made the recipe at home over several weekends in little batches. You could only make it about a pound or two at a time. And my brother and I got to taste them. And then my dad decided to start making them in the store because he was a great showman. And the whole store evolved really quickly in about three months to be in a candy store. Thank and you guys have a sweet day. All right, okay, thank you. We want to be able to provide a fun family atmosphere for everybody, and we want to be able to have something that everyone can enjoy, a little affordable treat that everybody can enjoy. So the number one thing we want to do is engage all five senses. We want people to see it being made. We want you to be able to talk to the candy maker making it. You know, we want to be able to say, oh yeah, I want that one, and then to be able to get whatever it is that they want. And we just want them to be able to have a good time. My dad used to always say, yeah, a Strickland always loved to eat, and that's true. <laughs> so we're always talking about a great experience that we had involving food, involving hospitality, you know, getting to know people, um, and that kind of thing. So that's that's what we're shooting for. Thank you, and you have a sweet day, hon. Okay. I love meeting the people, the people that comes from all over the world. It is such a great experience. And I love the idea of grown people turning into children when they walk in a candy store. They look around and their eyes get so big and they are so overwhelmed. And I just love it. The goal is all day, every day. So everything is designed to make in small batches because we that's part of the show. And we make all of our own chocolates. And in addition to that, a few years ago, we started making all of our own ice cream. That was something that my dad was really passionate about. Uh, and he got us into the ice cream business. We make all of our ice cream handmade and it really spools you once you've had it. It's delicious. Well, I've been here for 17 years and I've been coming here probably for about 17 years. What is the candy? You know, they have the pralines homemade and of course you see me with an ice cream cone, so the ice cream is magnificent, so that's what keeps me coming back. This is a place that it's great to forget your troubles and just have a little bit of fun. And I, I love seeing smiles. I love seeing people in, enjoy the experience. I still can't believe how good it is. I won't eat a lot of it for a while and then we'll taste something or, or try something new or I'll try a little bit of an old favorite and I'll be like, doggone, that really is good. So, you know, it just, it tastes fantastic. The next generation, um, the next evolution of the business is a really interesting time. We've got a lot of uh, my own kids are working in the business. Uh, kids of other team members are working in the business. And just seeing us continue to work together and evolve, never knowing exactly what's going to happen, but knowing that we'll stay true to our roots is really exciting.